When I first started cruising, one of my close friends said, Michael, I recommend you start with like Royal or maybe like Carnival, something like that, and work your way up to a Disney or a celebrity or Regent of the Seas, whatever it is in the future and kind of go from this kind of standard cruising to luxury cruising. And when I first went on my first cruise, I was actually worried that doing a Royal Caribbean cruise, which you know we recently did, I would feel like it wasn't the same. And I, I agree, it was not the same, but it was better than I think I even imagined it could be on the Royal Caribbean cruise. Ship. And I'm going to talk closer today about why you can do this strategy of going on like the really lavish, luxurious cruise ship and still enjoy like standard cruising too. If you've never cruised before, just know you're not alone. There are others who say to themselves, you know what, maybe we should start with like a Royal or a Carnival before we do a Disney cruise or a celebrity or whatever it is. That feeling is not, you know, just you thinking to yourself, okay, I just have to do this. A lot of people feel this way, especially when they first start cruising. But I kind of went through an evolution in my mind here where I, I felt like, you know, cruising is so much more than the line you are on. It's very true. Disney Cruise Line is my favorite. No question about it. I love the service. I love everything that you do on board, the shows, the food. You, I, In my opinion, it is unbeaten at the time of this filming, but my mind is staying open. When I went on Royal Caribbean, my mind was also open. I said to myself, you know what? This is not Disney. This is cruising. Let's just go and enjoy. From a previous video, you know that I enjoyed Royal Caribbean, but of course it was not Disney. And to me, there was a, enough of a difference to be able to tell, but am I going on another Royal Caribbean cruise in the future? Absolutely 100%. It's just a matter of having the right mindset to understand, okay, this is the Disney cruise and this is Royal, just as my example. When I had this mindset, I was able to go into it and really appreciate it. That being said, if I could go back in time, knowing what I know now, would I choose to go on the Royal Caribbean cruise first and then kind of take that step up to go on the Disney cruise? The answer? No, I wouldn't. It actually surprised me when I thought of this myself. I would rather start with the Disney Cruise Line, current favorite, it might change, and, and really appreciate the best, at least in my opinion, that cruising can be right now and experience other things with the open mind and be able to say, you know, I'm just gonna go and have a good time. I'm not trying to compare it to anything. I'm not trying to say this is better than that. And we do after the fact, right? We talk about after the fact, we talk about food and this and that. We try to make the best choices, of course. But I think that having that open mind and saying, we're just gonna try something new is something that's really inspiring and fun. We've got several Disney cruises booked for the future. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm really also looking forward to going on an Oasis class ship with Royal Caribbean. Like I've never been on an Oasis class ship and and when I go, I'm not gonna try and compare it to anything. I'm just gonna go and have a good time and I think it's gonna be a spectacular time. In addition, Celebrity Cruise Line, same thing. I'm just gonna go and have a wonderful time and worry about any comparisons and what I like better, what I like worse after the trip is over. Another big concern of mine when I went on the Royal Caribbean cruise ship is that I'm gonna to say to myself, and this is me thinking in my head, I'm going to prefer Disney, so I'm gonna feel like I'm wasting my time and money on the Royal Caribbean when I go. And I, that is a concern that is shared by many. Vacation time is precious, no question about it. And being able to do exactly what you wanna do is really important, but life is also super short. So being able to experience the things and try different things is part of the experience in my opinion. So you, you're not just going and doing the thing, it's the journey as well. And I think that kind of ties in to loving cruising even more. It goes into more of the, just the line, it's actually being on the sea. I realized really quickly when I was on the Royal Caribbean cruise ship that you know, my love of the ocean was like multiplied <laughs> more than, the line was great. Loved going on Royal, want to go on Oasis, want to go on a lot of different cruise lines, but being at sea for me started to take over. It started to be, we're going on a cruise, that's Disney. Or we're going on a cruise, that's Royal Caribbean. You know what I mean? It's like the, the, the going on a cruise became more important than the line I was on. In addition, the thought of where you can go with the cruise continues to kind of multiply in my mind here, where it's like, all right, we're gonna do Caribbean, I'm gonna do more of these excursions, we've experienced the ship, and I do recommend like, like sticking with the ship at first. I was talking to a friend, he's doing the exact same thing. He's like, I'm just gonna stay on the ship and enjoy it, and then do the excursions on another adventure. I'm telling you, it's something you may wanna try out if you've never cruised before, give that a try, and then you get to go and experience the different places that you're going. It's kind of a good way to get your feet wet in cruising, you get, you get it. And in the same way, once you've done that, you've gotten your feet wet in cruising, you can go and experience maybe the, the fjords or perhaps the Mediterranean or one of the coasts, you know, something extra special that just takes place for that one voyage. Now, this is just how I like to experience the cruise. This may vary widely for you. Maybe you have just a completely different idea of how, you know, best you should start this cruising adventure. And if you agree with me, or even if you don't, I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think that 
it's better to go on that like, you know, the, the luxury, the one that you think you're gonna like best first, and then kind of keep your mind open for others? Or do you think you can stick with a kind of the conventional method of, you know, let's, let's start with like basic cruising and then work our way up? What do you think makes more sense? Let me know in the comments below, which would you prefer? And if you're thinking about a line, I do wanna hear from you as well. What's the next one we should go on? You know a few of the ones I'm thinking about, but if you got one in particular you wanna recommend, do let me know in the comments. I wanna hear from you. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.